Have you ever pondered which daily habits might be silently chipping away at your inner strength? Life's journey is replete with peaks and valleys, a perpetual dance of resilience and vulnerability. Yet, some habits we unknowingly cling to can impede our quest for a life of purpose and fortitude. Today we will uncover eight such habits that unwittingly make us weak and reveal how the age-old philosophy of Stoicism can guide us in overcoming them. Originating in the heart of ancient Greece, Stoicism, founded by the visionary Zeno of Sidium, presents a beacon of timeless wisdom in our modern, often chaotic world. It's a philosophy that teaches the art of focusing on the realms within our control, nurturing virtues like wisdom, bravery, and self-discipline, while embracing life's inevitable trials with serenity and steadfastness. As we navigate through these eight habits, remember, awareness is the key to transformation. Join me as we embark on this transformative journey. Together, we'll learn to identify these weakening habits in ourselves and replace them with the robust principles of Stoicism. Embrace this opportunity to fortify your life with strength, purpose, and the profound peace that comes from living in alignment with Stoic wisdom. Habit number one, procrastination. Epictetus once wisely stated, The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you whose presence calls forth your best. This profound insight is especially pertinent when considering the detrimental habit of procrastination, the chronic postponement of tasks and responsibilities. It's a pervasive issue that not only weakens our resolve, but also impedes our forward momentum, ultimately stealing the precious time that could be utilized for personal growth and meaningful pursuits. In the realm of Stoicism, there's a powerful antidote to this malaise. The concept of carpe diem, or seizing the day. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of the present moment and maximizing its potential. Contrarily, procrastination is deeply entangled in anxieties about future uncertainties or current discomforts. To combat this, one must embrace a stoic mindset, recognizing that the present is the only time under our direct influence. Epictetus, a sage in the stoic tradition, counseled focusing on elements within our sphere of control while releasing our grip on what lies beyond it. Procrastination often stems from an excessive preoccupation with possible outcomes or the perceived hurdles of a task, rather than the act of initiating action itself. By internalizing the Stoic philosophy of concentrating on the journey rather than the destination, we can liberate ourselves from the shackles of procrastination. Begin with small achievable objectives and persistently work towards them. Accept the discomfort and unpredictability of the now, for it is in these moments of adversity that our character is forged and our capacity to tackle more significant challenges is bolstered. It's crucial to remember that time is a non-renewable resource. Each day squandered is a day that can never be reclaimed. This perspective aligns perfectly with modern life where time is often equated with opportunity. The advice is clear. Start today, no matter how small the step, and let each action be a brick in the edifice of a life well lived. Habit number two, negative self-talk. It reminds me of what Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and a revered Roman emperor, once said, Our life is what our thoughts make it. This profound statement underscores the immense power of our internal dialogue. Negative self-talk isn't just a bad habit. It's a silent adversary that erodes our self-esteem, dampens our confidence, and blocks us from tapping into our true potential. Stoicism, more than just a philosophy, is a toolkit for mental resilience. It equips us with the strategies to replace the cacophony of self-doubt with the harmony of rationality and self-compassion. Marcus Aurelius was not just a philosopher. As an emperor, he was acutely aware of the importance of maintaining a positive and rational mindset. He taught us that our world is essentially a reflection of our thoughts. Thus, to live a fulfilling life, we must cultivate a garden of positive thinking. The journey to overcoming negative self-talk begins with awareness. Watch your thoughts like a silent observer. Notice when the tendrils of self-criticism and doubt try to take root. Challenge them. Ask yourself, are these thoughts factual or just shadows cast by fear and insecurity? It's about turning the lens of rationality on ourselves, 
scrutinizing our thoughts with the objectivity of a scientist. Stoicism doesn't just stop at rational thinking. It invites us to embrace self-compassion. Imagine treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would offer a friend. When you stumble or perceive a flaw in yourself, instead of descending into self-critique, ask, what can I learn from this? How can I grow? It's about transforming every pitfall into a stepping stone for self-improvement. As we intertwine the stoic principles of rationality and self-compassion into our lives, a remarkable transformation occurs. We discover an inner fortitude and resilience akin to an unshakable pillar in the midst of life's storms. This strength empowers us to face life's myriad challenges with an unwavering confidence and an elegant grace. Remember, as Marcus Aurelius said, our life is indeed what our thoughts make it. Let those thoughts be your allies, not your foes. Habit number three, avoiding challenges. This habit, often seen as staying in the comfort zone, essentially stunts your growth and potential. If you want to improve yourself, be willing to let others think you are foolish and ignorant. This powerful statement underlines a crucial Stoic teaching. Embrace discomfort and difficulties, seeing them as opportunities for self-betterment. Epictetus, a renowned Stoic philosopher, believed that personal growth stems from facing challenges and extending our limits. In our modern society, there's a tendency to seek comfort, shunning any form of discomfort. We often choose the path of least resistance, opting for convenience and immediate satisfaction. While this might seem appealing in the short term, it hampers our long-term development and stops us from realizing our full potential. By avoiding challenges, we miss out on the chance to grow, to understand ourselves better, and to develop virtues like courage, perseverance, and resilience. Stoicism teaches us that real strength comes from confronting difficulties with patience and endurance. This avoidance can also cultivate a fear of failure, as constantly choosing safety over risk denies us the learning experiences that come from making mistakes. Stoicism doesn't just teach us to accept failure, it shows us how to embrace it as an integral part of life, a stepping stone to greater understanding and strength. However, it's important to distinguish that seeking discomfort in Stoicism doesn't equate to pursuing unnecessary pain. It's about approaching challenges with a calm, rational mind and recognizing that discomfort is a natural essential part of life that can lead to significant personal growth. By actively seeking out challenges, we cultivate personal control, depending on our ethics and inner strength rather than external conditions. Stoicism centers on focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, actions, and reactions. This approach reduces our dependency on external factors for happiness and success. Incorporating these stoic principles into our lives invites a profound transformation. We approach life with purpose and patience, better prepared to handle difficulties, failures, and unexpected twists. Challenges become not overwhelming obstacles, but opportunities for growth and self-improvement. Therefore, to adopt a stoic mindset, it's vital to open your mind ready to challenge your current beliefs and habits. Recognize your tendency to shun discomfort and embrace the stoic practice of confronting challenges head on. This path leads to a resilient, flexible mindset geared towards personal development. So embrace discomfort, face challenges, and embark on a journey of self-discovery and improvement. Remember, in the wise words of Seneca, another stoic sage, it is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. Let this be your guiding principle as you transform your life with stoicism. Habit number four, indulging in excessive materialism. This habit delves into the allure of material possessions, a temptation that often distracts us from the essence of what truly matters in life. The Stoics, notably philosophers like Seneca, taught us to discern between fleeting desires and genuine needs, guiding us away from the deceptive comfort of materialism. In our contemporary world, where consumerism is a dominant force, it's a common belief that happiness and fulfillment are intertwined with the accumulation of possessions. This pursuit, however, is a path fraught with perpetual dissatisfaction. Why? Because material possessions, by their nature, are temporary and vulnerable to loss or destruction. 
if our happiness hinges on these external factors, we are setting ourselves up for constant disappointment. The Stoic approach to this dilemma is rooted in internal development rather than external acquisition. It's about nurturing virtues like wisdom, courage, and compassion, qualities that are within our control and lead to genuine satisfaction. This philosophical standpoint encourages us to embrace contentment with what we have, understanding that the relentless chase for more only fuels a cycle of unfulfilled desires. A vital step in overcoming this habit is practicing detachment. Stoicism doesn't demand the renunciation of all material goods, but urges a balanced relationship with them. Recognize that these possessions are merely tools that can enhance our lives and those of others not the pillars of our self-worth or joy. Engaging in practices like gratitude and minimalism can reinforce this mindset helping us focus on what's genuinely significant. Ultimately, by liberating ourselves from the grasp of materialism, we align more closely with Stoic values. This shift in perspective empowers us to concentrate on personal virtues, forge meaningful connections, and contribute positively to society. In doing so, we find true contentment and live a life resonant with Stoic wisdom. Reflecting on this, a profound quote by another Stoic philosopher, perhaps Epictetus or Marcus Aurelius, can deepen our understanding. They might say, Wealth consists not in having great possessions but in having few wants. This encapsulates the essence of overcoming materialism, finding richness and simplicity and inner fulfillment over external abundance. Such wisdom seamlessly integrates into our modern lives, offering a beacon of guidance as we navigate the complexities of our existence. Habit number five, seeking external validation. In the Stoic journey, seeking external validation is a detour that veers us off the path of true wisdom and resilience. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy still profoundly relevant in our modern lives, teaches us to anchor our worth in internal virtues rather than the fluctuating tides of societal acceptance. The habit of over-relying on external approval can erode our self-reliance, leaving us at the mercy of others' opinions. In the contemporary world, the allure of social media often tempts us to measure our worth by likes, comments, and followers. This relentless pursuit of external validation can lead to a brittle sense of self-esteem one that is vulnerable to the whims of others. Stoicism, however, offers a beacon of stability, reminding us that enduring happiness and self-worth are nurtured from within. Stoic thinkers like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca extolled virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control. These are qualities that exist independently of external validation, rooted deeply in our character. As Marcus Aurelius wisely said, it never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. This profound insight echoes the Stoic belief in the paramount importance of self-assessment over external validation. Consider the example of creating a blog post. You've poured your heart and soul into it, crafting each word with care. But instead of relishing in the intrinsic satisfaction of your creation, you find yourself obsessively checking for external approval, views, likes, comments. If the public response falls short of expectations, your confidence wanes, overshadowing the true value of your work. This dependence on external validation not only weakens your confidence, but also diminishes the inherent worth of your efforts. To navigate away from this habit, it's crucial to internalize that external approval is transient and, more often than not, beyond our control. Others' opinions are fickle, making the pursuit of their approval a Sisyphean task. A more stoic approach involves focusing on cultivating internal virtues and aligning your actions with stoic principles. Embrace self-awareness and self-acceptance. Reflect on your urge for external approval and question its alignment with your true values and objectives. Remember, your worth is defined not by the opinions of others, but by the quality of your character and the merit of your actions. Strengthen your confidence in your judgment. Evaluate your actions against the yardstick of stoic virtues rather than the fleeting applause of the crowd. Concentrate on personal growth and progress, steering clear of unproductive comparisons. 
Hold on to the stoic wisdom that genuine happiness and contentment spring from within, not from external accolades. Cultivate a supportive community that values and fosters your growth. Seek feedback from those who genuinely wish for your betterment, but keep in mind that their perspectives should not overshadow your self-assessment. In essence, the habit of seeking external validation can undermine our stoic practice. Recognizing the ephemerality of external approval empowers us to focus on nurturing inner virtues and deriving fulfillment from within. By fostering self-awareness, building a nurturing community, and realigning our pursuits with stoic principles, we can fortify our stoic practice and lead a more virtuous and fulfilling life. Habit number six, the inability to cope with negative emotions. Stoic philosophy, with its deep roots in the power of reason, teaches us the vital lesson of not being enslaved by our emotions. When negative emotions like anger, envy, or fear grip us, they can cloud our judgment and rob us of our composure and virtue. Imagine anger like a storm taking over your mind, leading to impulsive actions and words that we often regret. Envy turns into a silent poison, breeding resentment and bitterness corroding our relationships and well-being. And then there's fear, a paralyzing force that can keep us from taking necessary risks and facing life's challenges head-on. These emotions are not just obstacles in our path to making sound decisions. They actively hinder our growth in virtues such as patience, kindness, and self-control. Remember, in Stoicism, our emotions are born from our perceptions and evaluations of the world. We, therefore, hold the reins to control these evaluations and, in turn, our emotional responses. By embracing mindfulness and self-awareness, we can dissect our thoughts, challenge those that lead to negative emotions, and cultivate those aligned with reason and ethics. It's important to clarify the concept of apathia in Stoicism. Often misunderstood as emotional numbness, it actually refers to achieving emotional resilience. It's not about suppressing our emotions, but about fostering an inner tranquility, even in the face of adversity. Stoics recognize that negative emotions are a natural part of life, but they urge us to confront them with wisdom, reason, and self-control. Let's turn to the wise words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, who once said, the greatest remedy for anger is delay. This profound statement echoes the Stoic practice of pausing and reflecting before reacting, a skill crucial in managing negative emotions. To overcome the habit of succumbing to negative emotions and bolster our Stoic resolve, it's crucial to adopt certain strategies. Firstly, mindfulness is a vital practice. It's not merely about being aware of our thoughts and emotions, but about observing them with detachment. This detachment gives us the space to pause and choose rationality over impulsiveness. Just as Seneca said, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This reminds us to see our emotions for what they are, mere projections of the mind. Next, we must scrutinize our evaluations. When gripped by negative feelings, pause and reflect. Ask yourself, are these emotions rooted in reality or in distorted perceptions and biases? By dissecting and reconstructing these evaluations, we alter our viewpoint, thereby diminishing the power of these emotions. Self-reflection, too, is paramount. Regular introspection about our thoughts, actions, and their repercussions helps us recognize and modify the triggers of our negative emotions. This continuous process of self-examination paves the way for emotional mastery and personal growth. Moreover, in moments of anger or resentment, we must remember the stoic virtue of prioritizing virtue over vengeance. Reflect on the long-term outcomes of acting out of spite. The Stoic approach encourages responses filled with kindness, understanding, and forgiveness, aligning with Marcus Aurelius's wisdom. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice. Lastly, embrace serenity. Stoicism teaches acceptance of the uncontrollable and focusing on our sphere of influence. By surrendering our desire to control every aspect of life, we achieve inner peace and diminish the sway of negative emotions. In summary, succumbing to negative emotions weakens our stoic practice. To combat this, we cultivate mindfulness, critically evaluate our emotions, 
engage in self-reflection, choose virtue over vengeance, and embrace serenity. This aligns with the Stoic values of rationality, resilience, and inner peace, leading to a more virtuous and fulfilling life. Remember, this journey demands time and patience. Each setback is a stepping stone towards growth, reinforcing our commitment to the Stoic principles of self-awareness and perseverance. In essence, my friends, as we navigate through life's tumultuous waves, remember that our emotions should not be the masters steering our ship. Instead, let reason and virtue guide us, allowing us to transform challenges into opportunities for growth and tranquility. This is the path to not just being stoic, but to living a life of true resilience and inner peace. Habit number seven, dwelling on past mistakes. In the realm of Stoic philosophy, a key tenet is to immerse ourselves in the present, to embrace what has transpired, and to learn from our errors rather than being perpetually ensnared by them. It's a common human tendency to be caught in a whirlpool of regret, guilt, and self-reproach, which hampers our progress and personal development. Imagine for a moment, if you will, the act of constantly revisiting past mistakes. Each time we do this, we're unknowingly reinforcing negative emotions and creating a sense of being stuck in the same place. This practice not only diminishes our inner peace and contentment, but also robs us of the joy in our present moments and the opportunity to make meaningful changes. The Stoics, with their profound wisdom, remind us of a crucial truth. The past is unchangeable. Epictetus, an esteemed Stoic philosopher, once insightfully remarked, What really frightens and dismays us is not external events themselves, but the way in which we think about them. This powerful statement sheds light on the importance of our mindset and perceptions in shaping our experiences. By fixating on past errors, we willingly surrender to negative thought patterns and emotions, leading ourselves down a path of needless suffering. So, what does Stoicism propose we do? It urges us to acknowledge and accept our past actions and their outcomes, to take responsibility for them, and to direct our focus towards what we can do now. It's in our power to improve ourselves and our situations. By shifting our attention from what has been to what can be, we open ourselves to growth, learning, and ultimately a more fulfilling life. Imagine viewing your mistakes not as failures but as invaluable lessons contributing to your personal development. Every error you've made is a chance to grow, to improve yourself. Embrace this mindset, and you'll find the weight of past mistakes lifting, allowing you to focus on the now. Let's talk about mindfulness, this practice of being fully present, embracing the moment without judgment. It's about breaking free from the chains of regret that bind us to our past, enabling us to engage fully in the experiences of the present. Adding to this, cultivating a habit of gratitude shifts our focus. It's about appreciating the here and now and the lessons we've learned, no matter how tough they were. This shift brings a wave of positivity, a sense of contentment that enriches our lives. Remember, breaking free from the habit of ruminating over past mistakes demands effort and a commitment to Stoic principles. Stoicism reminds us that we have the power to choose our reactions to past events. Dwelling on mistakes only holds us back from experiencing a fulfilling, virtuous life. Let's take inspiration from a Stoic philosopher, Seneca, who said, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This wisdom urges us to let go of the past, embrace self-compassion, practice mindfulness, and cultivate gratitude. So my friends, free yourself from the chains of regret. Embrace the teachings of Stoicism not just as ancient philosophy, but as a practical guide to living a more meaningful, virtuous life. Remember, the past is a place of reference, not a place of residence. Focus on the present, learn from your mistakes, and walk the path of virtue. This is how you transform weakness into strength, and how you can lead a more serene, resilient life. Let's embrace this stoic wisdom and transform our lives for the better. Habit number eight. Ignoring the well-being of others In the grand tapestry of life where each thread is intricately woven into the fabric of humanity, the Stoic principle of cosmopolitanism 
shines a guiding light. It teaches us that our actions, our concerns, should extend beyond the self, reaching out to the larger human community. This noble idea underscores that neglecting the needs and sufferings of others not only diminishes our own moral fabric, but also weakens the very essence of what it means to be human. Stoicism, an age-old philosophy rooted in the pursuit of virtue, urges us to harmonize with nature and cultivate core virtues like wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation. Central to these virtues is the concept of benevolence, a deep-seated goodwill towards our fellow beings. When we turn a blind eye to the welfare of others, we stray from this path of virtue, losing our connection to the shared human experience. Consider the words of Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, who said, What is not good for the beehive cannot be good for the bees. This metaphor beautifully encapsulates the idea that individual well-being is deeply intertwined with the welfare of the community. When we become indifferent to the struggles and pain of others, we not only fail them, but also ourselves. This indifference can take many forms, from ignoring the plight of the less fortunate to withholding support where it's needed most. However, in our modern hustle, where life often seems like a solitary journey, it's easy to forget this interconnectedness. We get caught up in our own ambitions and challenges, inadvertently adopting a self-centered view of the world. But Stoicism reminds us that true contentment and happiness stem from living a life of virtue aligned with reason and ethics. By sidelining the welfare of others, we deviate from this path, becoming prisoners to selfishness. To break free from this habit, Stoicism encourages us to cultivate empathy and goodwill actively. This could mean stepping into the shoes of others, understanding their perspectives, or engaging in acts of kindness. Research has shown that such acts not only uplift the recipients but also enhance the giver's well-being, fostering a sense of purpose and satisfaction. Through these actions, we not only reinforce our stoic values, but also contribute to a world brimming with compassion and harmony. By nurturing empathy and benevolence, we become agents of positive change, strengthening the fabric of our communities and promoting a more ethical, compassionate society. In doing so, we not only bolster our stoic practice, but also embark on a journey towards greater moral fortitude and human connection. In essence, to overlook the well-being of others is to weaken our stoic foundations. By embracing empathy and goodwill, we counteract this habit, fostering a deeper concern for the welfare of all. This shift not only fortifies our character, but also paves the way for a more compassionate and ethical world. Each of us has moments of weakness, times when we can't control ourselves and fall down on the path to achieving our dreams to overcoming life's challenges. This weakness, so human and common, can sometimes be a barrier preventing us from reaching the heights we desire. Life would be less interesting without those tears of weakness, and also less monotonous if everyone knew how to push forward. We need moments of weakness so that those around us know to care for and look after each other, to share burdens and worries. These moments bring us closer, help us understand each other better, and foster love. But is being too weak a good way to live? No, my friend. Weakness should only appear momentarily and not persist long in our lives. What would you be like if you were constantly afraid to face life's difficulties, always despondent and suffering over past romantic woes, knowing that we need these moments to realize that there is much in life to overcome? It's better if after those tears comes determination, not despondency. You will be strong, right? Determined to overcome all of life's difficulties. You won't let weakness dominate your soul, will you? You can do it, can't you? You won't give up over trivial things in life, will you? You will fulfill the promises you made to yourself and those around you, so that no one has to worry about you, right? If you can do these things, you will have a happy, peaceful life with just enough weakness to bring out your humanity. Often in life, we fiercely compete with each other vying for our place, our jobs, lest we get buried by life. Sometimes I wonder, is there anyone who can cry freely like a child when hurt, scolded, or simply feeling sad? 
We hide our weaknesses so we never appear vulnerable to others. But you forget. The more you think you're strong, the weaker you become. You must understand life will be happier if you know how to balance your emotions. Everyone has their moments of weakness. What's important is what you do after those moments to make your life better. Never let pessimism and despondency linger too long in your life. Be strong and overcome these moments with a happy and optimistic attitude so you never succumb to sorrow. Knowing how to turn pain into strength will help you conquer all difficulties in life. A strong person is someone who dares to face and will overcome the difficulties in life. So how to live stronger? 1. Believe in yourself. The cornerstone of a robust and fulfilling life lies in the unwavering belief in oneself. This principle, resonating with the age-old Stoic wisdom of the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice, Marcus Aurelius, highlights the importance of self-confidence. When you anchor your sense of self not in the fluctuating opinions and judgments of others, but in your own steadfast belief, you create an unshakable foundation. It's essential to understand that external voices, often clouded by their own biases and shortcomings, can deter you from the path you're meant to walk. Embrace the notion that your self-worth and strength come from within, not from the approval or disapproval of those around you. By cultivating this inner confidence, you not only learn to appreciate and love yourself more profoundly, but also equip yourself to brush aside the negativity and discouragement from naysayers. In today's fast-paced, highly connected world, where opinions are freely given and often unfiltered, it's more crucial than ever to filter out the noise and focus on your inner voice. Confidence in yourself is akin to a lighthouse, standing steadfast amidst stormy seas. It guides you, keeps you anchored, and ensures you stay true to your course no matter how turbulent the waters of life get. Remember, the journey to living stronger isn't about overpowering others. It's about empowering yourself from within, fostering resilience, and nurturing an unwavering belief in your capabilities and worth. It too. Embracing our mistakes. Every single person, including you and me, has stumbled at some point in their journey. It's a universal truth, right? But here's where it gets interesting. The fear of making mistakes can be paralyzing, holding us back from even taking the first step. However, think of mistakes not as roadblocks, but as stepping stones. They are inevitable, yet invaluable, in our quest to live a stronger, more resilient life. Imagine yourself facing a mistake. Now, instead of shying away, embrace it, learn from it. This is where true growth happens. Each error, each stumble, teaches us something new, pushing us towards change and development. It's like what the Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, Errare humanum est perseverare autem diabolicum, which translates to, to err is human, but to persist in error is diabolical. This ancient wisdom reminds us that making mistakes is natural, but not learning from them is where the real issue lies. When you face failure, don't let it deflate your faith or dampen your spirit. These moments are not the end. They are simply lessons that help us to train, to become more mature, and ultimately stronger. So as you go about your day, remember this. Embrace your mistakes learn from them, and most importantly, let them guide you to become the strongest version of yourself. This mindset will not only transform the way you see challenges, but also how you approach life itself. Remember, in every mistake lies an opportunity to grow stronger and wiser. Let's embrace that journey together. 3. Living Stronger and More Fulfilling Lives it's often said that life is not just what happens to us, but how we respond to it. This couldn't be truer. Picture this. You have the power to frame your experiences, to paint your life's canvas with the colors of a positive attitude. Living with this mindset, you'll find that life's challenges become less daunting, its joys more profound. Now, let's bring in a nugget of wisdom from the Stoic philosopher Epictetus who famously said, It's not what happens to you but how you react to it that matters. The Stoics believed in focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we can't. Imagine facing life's storms with a calm and steadfast heart, knowing that while you can't control the wind, you can adjust your sails. 
Incorporating this philosophy into your life is transformative. By choosing to view life through a lens of positivity and acceptance, you begin to see opportunities where others see obstacles. Remember it's your attitude, not your aptitude, that determines your altitude. So, as we wrap up, let's take this to heart. Live each day with a good attitude. Embrace life's unpredictability with a smile and remember, the power to live stronger lies within you. Be the sculptor of your own destiny, shaping it with the chisel of a positive, stoic-inspired mindset. Keep this in mind and watch as your life transforms. One positive thought at a time. The fourth, to uncover and nurture your own passion. Regardless of what stage of life you find yourself in, embracing a passion is essential. It's not just about having a hobby. It's about setting goals and ardently pursuing them. This pursuit infuses your life with strength and direction, propelling you towards achievement. Consider the Stoic philosopher Seneca's words. Our plans miscarry because they have no aim. When a man does not know what harbor he is making for, no wind is the right wind. This quote resonates deeply with the concept of nurturing passion. A life driven by passion is resilient. When faced with challenges and obstacles, a person fueled by their passion doesn't easily falter. They possess the strength to overcome and succeed. Furthermore, in modern life, where routine and stress can often overshadow personal growth, continuously seeking and embracing new passions is a way to develop and improve oneself. It leads to a life that's not only goal-oriented but also rich and fulfilling. This approach aligns with the modern ethos of continuous self-improvement and adaptability. By finding and following your passion, you embrace a powerful tool for personal growth and a stronger life. 5. Make wise, thoughtful choices. Imagine standing at a crossroads where each path represents a different choice. The strength of our lives, much like the integrity of a well-constructed building, is determined by the thoughtfulness and wisdom with which we choose our paths. The ancient Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This is a reminder to not let the fear of potential outcomes cloud our judgment. Instead, we must weigh our options with a clear mind and a steady heart, understanding that our choices shape our destiny. It's not just about avoiding regret, it's about consciously steering our lives in a direction that aligns with our deepest values and aspirations. 6. Balance Life Balance in life is like the harmony in a beautiful symphony. In the modern world where the hustle of study, work, and personal obligations often leaves us feeling overwhelmed, finding balance is crucial. It's about giving each aspect of our lives its due attention, work, study, relaxation, and entertainment. When we strike this balance, we become like a well-tuned instrument, resonating with energy and positivity. A balanced life isn't just about control, it's about creating space for joy, comfort, and contentment. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus advised, keep the faculty of effort in a state conformable to nature, and you will not complain. Dear listener, inviting you to reflect on your choices and the balance in your life. Let's explore together how we can build strength through thoughtful decisions and harmonious living, just as the wise philosophers of old guided their followers. Remember, the path to a strong and fulfilling life is paved with wisdom and balance. 7. Think positively and optimistically. It's like having a secret weapon in your arsenal. When you approach life with a positive mindset, even the most daunting mountains seem climbable. Obstacles, they're just stepping stones to your goals. Remember, it's not just about avoiding troubles. It's about facing them head-on with a smile. As the old saying goes, a positive attitude may not solve all your problems, but it will annoy enough people to make it worth the effort. That's the spirit we're talking about. 8. Don't set too high expectations beyond your abilities. It's crucial to strike a balance here. Imagine aiming an arrow. If you aim too low, you'll miss your mark. But aim too high, and you might lose sight of your target. The key is to assess your abilities accurately, and set goals that are challenging yet achievable. Setting the bar too high can lead to disappointment and discouragement. Remember, success is a series of small victories, not just the big win at the end. 
Let me weave in a story from the Stoics, the ancient philosophers who were masters at finding strength in adversity. Consider Seneca, who said, It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. This reminds us that our mental barriers often overshadow our physical ones. Break through those mental barriers and suddenly, the path becomes clearer. In conclusion, think of life as a journey up a mountain. Equip yourself with positive thinking and realistic goals. Let these tools be your guide, and you'll find that the journey itself is as rewarding as the destination. So, to you, dear listener, I say, climb that mountain with a smile. Aim your arrows true and remember the power to live stronger lies within you. As we conclude today's exploration of the eight habits that inadvertently weaken us, we've journeyed together through the transformative lens of Stoicism. This ancient philosophy, time-tested and deeply relevant, offers us a map to navigate the complexities of our modern lives with strength, purpose, and serenity. In this episode, we delved into the essence of Stoicism, unearthing its profound wisdom to counteract habits such as procrastination, negative self-talk, avoidance of challenges, excessive materialism, dependence on external validation, the inability to cope with negative emotions, dwelling on past mistakes, and ignoring the well-being of others. Each of these habits, in its own way, hinders our path to a fulfilled and resilient life. But remember, my friends, the journey doesn't end here. Your path towards embodying Stoic virtues is an ongoing process, a daily practice of self-awareness, rationality, and virtue. And as we embark on this path together, we become not just followers of Stoicism, but active practitioners of a philosophy that enriches our lives and the lives of those around us. So, as we part ways today, I extend an invitation to you. If you found value in our discussion, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to Stoic in Your Life channel. Your support enables us to continue this journey together, uncovering the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and applying it to the modern hustle. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss our upcoming videos, where we'll continue to explore, dissect, and apply the principles of Stoicism to our daily lives. Remember, Every like, share, and subscription not only contributes to our growing community, but also signifies your commitment to living a life guided by Stoic wisdom. Together, let's transform our lives, fortify our spirits, and navigate the ebbs and flows of existence with the serene mind and resilient spirit of a true Stoic. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Until next time, continue to reflect, grow, and embrace the Stoic flow in your life. Farewell, and may the wisdom of Stoicism guide you through each step of your journey.